So much confusion out there surrounding which vitamins to take in the morning, which supplements to take before bed or in the evening. Look, I'm going to level with you here. For the most part, it doesn't really matter. However, there are a few vitamins and a few supplements that are very important to take at specific times. So that's kind of the caveat. Most of the time, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to outline the ones that do kind of matter. Okay. Hey, if you like these kinds of videos, helpful, quick tidbits, things like that, daily educational content, please do hit that red subscribe button. We've got amazing content. We've been around for a long time. We've got over 2 million subscribers. Just hit that red subscribe button and then please hit that bell icon. That way you turn on notifications and you get notified whenever I do post a new video. And then after this video, I highly recommend you check out Natural Heaven Pasta. Super cool, healthy, low carb pasta. Okay, this stuff is made from Hearts of Palm. So if you're trying to reduce calories, trying to reduce carbs, it's a great way to have your spaghetti, have your angel hair pasta, enjoy some pasta with the family. Anyway, just really cool stuff and they're a big sponsor and supporter of this channel. So a big thank you to them. Best way you can support this channel is to support our awesome sponsors that keep us rocking and rolling. Okay, let's go ahead and let's dive in. First one, vitamin D. Okay, wild one, because vitamin D is probably one of the most important supplements that you could be taking. If I were to recommend just a few supplements, vitamin D would be on that list because most of us are vitamin D deficient and we're seeing it's a hormone. It acts as a hormone in the body. It's a signaling device and it has many different hormonal cascades within the body. Point is, that's irrelevant. Normally, I would say take vitamin D in the evening because it's technically fat soluble and you usually want to take fat soluble vitamins like A, E, K, and D in the evening when you have fats in your system to improve absorption. However, there's some interesting studies that are starting to demonstrate that vitamin D could interfere with sleep. One particular study published in Brain Behavior and Immunity demonstrated that some subjects when they take vitamin D at night ended up sleeping worse simply because it interfered with their melatonin production and it makes perfect sense. I don't know why I didn't realize it before. Vitamin D comes from the sun, right? We have the UVA, UVB kind of transition in the body. Point is, when we're out in the sun, our body says, uh-oh, we're awake, okay? So it starts changing the effect of what's happening in our body, changes our chemistry, and that affects melatonin levels, right? We're awake, it's sunlight, we don't need melatonin, so therefore that affects your sleep. However, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics published a study that showed that vitamin D is absorbed significantly better in the evening, okay? 32% better at that. So, well, where do you kind of balance it? Well, it sounds to me like you might want to take vitamin D at lunchtime. Now, if you don't have a sleep issue with vitamin D, then you're fine to take it in the evening, but lunch might be the best case. Morning, you're not really having enough food in the system to get the powerful effect that you want. Next up, B vitamins. Okay, if you are someone that's taking B vitamins, you really want to allocate them to the morning. Why? They're involved in energy metabolism. They're involved in glucose metabolism. And here's the thing. A lot of these vitamins, a lot of these supplements, you're trying to get sort of a cumulative effect in the body. You're trying to restore levels, restore values. B vitamins are so water soluble, they're coming in and going out. So a lot of the benefit that you're getting from B vitamins is in the short term. So if you take it before bed, you're basically letting the dream version of yourself get all the benefit because you're not awake, right? So you might as well just have your B vitamins in the morning. Now, when it comes down to energy metabolism, you might as well have your B vitamins that are going to help with glucose metabolism, help you feel better, help you utilize that energy better, and hopefully burn more fat out of the process too, which is kind of a, just a double whammy, right? There was a study that was published in Psychopharmacology that indicated that taking B vitamins largely reduces stress and improves cognitive function. So, I mean, who doesn't want that throughout the course of the day, right? Anyhow, water soluble, take it in the morning. Another one that you may want to consider taking in the morning is going to be vitamin C. And this just has to do with the absorption, right? We also want the benefit of vitamin C throughout the day. Every time that we eat, we create a large amount of reactive oxygen species. We create this oxidative stress within our body. Vitamin C helps combat that. Now, full disclaimer, if you are fasting and you're wanting to remain in a, quote, fasted state, do not take vitamin C until after you break your fast. It still works well to take with food. Now, this next one is iron, but a full disclaimer on iron, and this is at least a Thomas DeLauer disclaimer, not necessarily what other people might say. I don't believe that we have an iron deficiency problem in this world, okay? I think the larger problem comes from iron being bound up and not being able to be released, probably because of other minerals not being involved, magnesium, et cetera, et cetera. Point is, we have two different forms of iron, iron that's in our blood and iron that's in its stored kind of locked up form. Point is, unless you're clinically diagnosed and really recommended by your doctor to consume iron, you probably don't need to just take iron willy-nilly. 
However, if you do take an iron supplement, take it with vitamin C. Vitamin C improves the absorption of iron, so you wanna take it earlier in the day with vitamin C, but you definitely don't wanna be taking iron in the evening time, because once you have enough calcium in your system, calcium interferes with iron absorption by 50 to 60%. So again, you're wasting your money or you're gonna give yourself a false sense of security, a false sense of progression, with your supplement regime. Now let's move into ones that you may wanna to allocate towards the evening a bit more. First off, just to reiterate, vitamins A, E, K, and sometimes D are better to take in the evening because they're fat soluble. Fat soluble should never be taken on an empty stomach. You're totally wasting your money, wasting the effect. But now let's move into calcium for a second. Okay, Journal of Sleep Research demonstrated that if you were low in calcium, low serum levels of calcium, there was a large correlation with poor sleep. Now, this probably has to do with the tryptophan hydroxylase pathway. Complicated jargon, but it's simple. Tryptophan, you've heard of before, right? You eat too much turkey at Thanksgiving dinner, you get tired because tryptophan. Well, what tryptophan does is it allows the production of serotonin and melatonin to occur, okay? When that happens, you get sleepy, okay? So this tryptophan hydroxylase pathway is activated by calcium in a lot of ways. So if you are deficient in calcium, you're not going to have that pathway work properly. But an important caveat, extra calcium doesn't make you tired. In fact, one could argue that extra calcium has an excitatory effect and can actually do the opposite. So I don't really recommend that you take a calcium supplement, but if you're someone that needs to, because you have osteoporosis, need to improve absorption, vitamin D, calcium are important, you may wanna allocate that towards the evening. It's also a better time to have dairy. If you're going to have dairy in a minimal amount, allocate it towards the evening so you at least get that calcium effect. And then we have selenium. Again, not a lot of people need to take selenium, okay? One little Brazil nut and you've got your daily allotment of selenium. But some people need to take it. Maybe they need it for their thyroid, maybe they need it for whatever reason. It works well with vitamin E. Vitamin E and selenium work well together and vitamin E is fat soluble, so you take it in the evening, right? Okay, additionally, lack of selenium, same category as calcium, seems to interfere with melatonin production, probably through that tryptophan hydroxylase pathway. Last but not least, and this is one that's super important, Magnesium. If you are going to segment when you take magnesium, take it in the evening. Now, again, I take magnesium throughout the course of the day. I like the way it makes me feel. I like the calmness effect of it. But there's a lot of research that indicates that if you take magnesium in the evening time, you will probably sleep better. So there was a study that was published in the journal Neuro Report that found that it has a potentiating effect on what is called GABA. Okay, GABA stands for gamma amino butyric acid. And GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So it stops hyperexcitability within your brain. Have you ever had those times where you're just laying in bed and your brain is going, 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 and going, and going, but you're tired? Well, that is usually a strong sign of being lower on that GABA scale and higher on the glutamate scale. So magnesium has been shown in multiple studies. This is just one of hundreds of studies, by the way, that shows that magnesium promotes relaxation. But if you have that magnesium in your system, you potentially get that higher rating of gamma butyric acid in your body, which could help you calm down a little bit more. So I highly recommend allocating it towards the evening, but if you like to have that calming effect throughout the course of the day, you can take it throughout the day too. Um, I did put a link down below for my favorite magnesium, but that you know, if you want it, take it or leave it. Anyhow, this is the breakdown of what I would recommend in terms of the ones that are important to prioritize at different times of day. Everything else, realistically, take with a little bit of food so you improve absorption. We don't need to create another video all on that. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. See you tomorrow.